Let's get ready now, let's get ready, let's get ready to rumble. Watch your scrap the mic, watch your scrap the mic, watch your scrap the mic. Psych! Previous, hello, ciao, bonjour, parev. Yeah, that's about it of my languages. I should really know more, shouldn't I? Yes, yes, I should. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nish and I do reactions here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be giving you my top 39 of Eurovision 2021. Belarus has withdrawn from this contest, so we were going to have 40, but that didn't happen. Unless Belarus gives us some kind of banger anytime soon, I don't think this is going to change. I'm going to go through this very, very quickly, so we're not here all day long. But I'm going to give you my reasoning on why I put them in that place and base it on how often I listen to these songs because some of these guys I have not stopped playing and I just want to put a disclaimer out that I think this contest is one of the strongest I have seen in a very very long time and it was extremely hard to put everything in its right place I know this is going to be completely subjective so what you guys think is the way it should be I'm sorry, this is just my personal opinion. And I know some of these places have changed since this contest has gone on. As I said, every time a new song came out, the numbers were all over the place. It took me a very, very long time to knuckle down all these places. I mean, no hate to any of these artists, even the lower down ones. Anyway, guys, before we get started, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram, it is Nish101. Let us begin. And I'm going to start from 39 down to 1. So in my 39th place, we have Norway with Ticks. The song Fallen Angel just wasn't for me. I have listened to it since then and I actually really like Tix's other stuff, but this just wasn't working for me. Sorry Tix, maybe another time we'll see one of your bangers in this contest. Okay, number 38, we have Georgia with Tornik Kipiani and the song was called You. Yeah, I, I was a little bit, not disappointed, but this was not the strength of last year's song. I'm sorry, Tornik. His voice was amazing, though. I cannot deny that. But this song, I just was not feeling it. Number 37, we have North Macedonia with the amazing Vasil, an extremely talented artist with an amazing voice. Yeah, this was a bit too musical-esque for me. I just haven't been listening to it after that one time. Vasil, sorry, not this year for me. Number 36, so we have Moldova, which pains me because I absolutely love you, Moldova, in Eurovision. And this is Natalia Gordienko with the song Sugar. Well, we all know what I thought about this one. Wasn't the worst song in the world at all. At times it's a good song, but for me this was a bit verging on a bit tacky and it wasn't anything new and exciting for me. Number 35, we have Poland with Rafael and his song was called The Ride. Yeah, this just, it wasn't anything special, although I really like the electronic synth parts to this song. It did take you back to the 80s, like a lot of the songs this year. But yeah, this wasn't anything new and exciting for me. Number 34, we have the controversial one. Let us get ready. I have put Azerbaijan with Effendi and her song Mata Hari. This just wasn't anything new for me this year. It did sound like Cleopatra, but maybe in reverse a little bit with a tiny bit of ethnicity. Number 33, we have Portugal. And this was Black Mamba. And when I found out about the meaning behind this song, it did make me feel very emotional. But I do think this song will get lost in the contest people won't know what the background story is number 32 with denmark fear and flam and i cannot pronounce the name of the song but it was all in danish it was this 80s disco feel again but it was verging on cheesy for me i've listened to it again and i still can't really remember it i do think that this won't stand out versus with the other 80s songs that are quite strong in this contest okay number 31 with estonia and that is Yuku Zivest Ukulele. I love it when my laptop uh, autocorrects Yuku to Ukulele. So yes, Estonia with Yuku Zivestay. He has a great voice, doesn't he? I absolutely love his voice. But there was just something missing here for me. There was some real powerful bits though. The chorus was quite catchy. I do think it was better than last year's song. So for that, well done Yuku. Number 30, we have Anna Soklic with the song Amen. A powerful voice. And I do think loads of people are going to connect with this song just the way her voice grabs you and I, it did 
did do that to me, but at the same time, it's not my kind of sound. I was getting a little bit bored at times. Next, we have Austria with Vincent Bueno and his song, Amen. Two amens in a row there. <laughs> Though this song really shows you how this guy can sing. I think he is gonna do an amazing job with this performance and I think people are gonna really enjoy it and I actually really enjoyed the song also. I don't think this is a bad song at all. It's just up to what happens on the contest, I think, with this one. Next, Spain, Blas Canto with his song, Avoya Que Dharma. I actually really like this song. I'm not too sure how this is going to do on the night. I really love his voice and I think he is quite the package, but not the strongest in the contest for me. Number 27, we have Belgium with Hoover Phonic. I actually really like this. The Bond feels to this. I was vibing. Maybe the older generation will like this more. I guess I'm just an old soul, but I really enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to see what they do with the performance of this. Number 26, we have Ireland with Leslie Roy. This was a great song from Ireland. I love Leslie Roy, like how can you not love her? Just her charisma, her personality. Really looking forward to this. Do hope though they maybe add a bit of Irish traditional elements to this, because that will just amplify this song even more. Number 25, we have the host country, the Netherlands with jean Gu Macroy. His song, Birth of a New Age. This was the most different song I have ever heard the Netherlands to send and I really love this. It had that tribal quality to it. I think this is really going to get people in the mood for a party. Number 24, we have France with Barbara Pravi. This was one of the first songs that I listened to. I do think it was very, very sticky. Like I was singing this song for a really long time afterwards. When I first heard it, I thought, oh, this isn't going to be actually that good. But I actually quite enjoyed it after listening to it again and again. Number 23, we have Bulgaria with the beautiful Victoria. What is there not to like about Victoria? She is just amazing. Her voice is gonna capture so many people. However, the song was not my personal favorite out of hers. I do think it's still a great song. Number 22, we have the Czech Republic with Benny Cristo and the song Omega. I really like this, considering last year's was a bit iffy for me. This one definitely stood out for me and it was one of those radio friendly songs and I've definitely been playing it. Really looking forward to the performance of this as well. I mean, what am I not looking forward to the performance of? Let's be honest. Number 21, we have Hendrik for Germany. I really like this. It was so quirky and different and I do think people are gonna remember this just cause it is a bit bonkers and it really got stuck in my head. So if it does that to anyone in the audience at Eurovision, then I think this could do potentially quite well. Number 20, we have Latvia with Samantha Tina Look, I love her. She's just great. Her voice, her attitude, everything about this song is just so good. I do think a lot of people are going to feel the women empowerment. That is really important more than ever right now. Okay, so number 19, we have Sweden with Tuse. Honestly, I love the elements in this with the like bagpipey bit. Like that was great. And I think he's an amazing singer as well. I don't think Sweden's going to ever do really, really badly in Eurovision and... It's because they send us quality and this is a very good song. Number 18, I think most people are gonna disagree with me with this one. So we have Switzerland with John's Tears. Let's not beat round the bush here. It was a beautiful song and he is going to smash this. There's no doubt about it. This is beautiful, but very emotional. And it did get me to the point where I'm like, I just don't want to cry anymore this year. An amazing song and well done Switzerland. Number 17, we have Croatia with Albina and her song TikTok. I mean, what is there not to like about this song? I love her. Like she's got such a good vibe about her on stage. The song just made me so, so happy. I will be listening to this one again and again, for sure. Number 16, we have Serbia with Hurricane. This was so fun. I had such a good time reacting to this song. It they get the same attitude and excitement on stage like we saw in the music video i think that the crowd is going to love this and who doesn't want to shake their booty at eurovision honestly number 15 we have albania with anzela peristeri the ethnic part they're just so amazing I was feeling it, especially like the powerful bits. I think this is actually gonna do really well. This might be a dark horse, guys. Number 14, we have Israel with the amazing Eden Alen. This was a super radio friendly song. I was listening to this right afterwards and I still listen to this and it will make you feel so much happier. I think she's gonna rock the stage in Rotterdam. Number 13, we have Romania with Roxanne. Honestly, this was a grower on me. I began listening to this song and I was like, oh, 
not too sure about this, but it's so catchy. Now this was just an all rounder, really great job. I think she has learned so much in the one year. Okay, number 12, we have Finland with Blind Channel. Who doesn't like rock at Eurovision, but also who doesn't like an early 2000s rock influence song? You can't hate this, this is great. Everyone's gonna be singing at the chorus. I mean, I was. It's just so enjoyable and we are gonna have so much fun with this song. Number 11, we have Australia. I don't think I've ever put Australia so high in my life. Anyway, we have Montaigne and with the song Technicolor. And at first I was like, this is the most crazy song I've ever heard in my life. But I was singing along at the end of it. It's still a good song and I do think that Montaigne's vocals are gonna be on point when it comes to the contest. Definitely gonna stand out because nothing else in the contest is like this. So in my 10th place, and I've never ever put this country this high up in my life, and that is the United Kingdom. Did we ever expect the UK to actually give it a good song? No. So that is why I think this deserves this place. I just love James. The song is great. It's got those trumpet elements. It's so summery. Well done, James. You made us very proud for once in our lives. <laughs> Number nine we have my Gibros. Really like this song. I don't even care that people think this sounds like Lady Gaga. It's still a good song. It's all about how she performs this on the night, guys. If her vocals are super strong, I think this is gonna stand out. And she has attitude. Everyone loves a bit of that. Eight, we have Russia with Maniza and the song Russian Woman. I love this. There's so many different components and there's like the folk bit, there's like an English bit, and then there's another bit that brings them together. And again, I really like the woman empowerment message. This is literally magic to my ears. I love it. Number seven, we have Greece. Stefania really shocked me this year with Last Dance. Love the 80s elements in this. It does have a Eurovision quality about it as well. So for me, this really works. And I was loving this. I was dancing, like, let's dance. So much better than last year. She has matured into a woman. Number six, we have the amazing Daddy Fair for Iceland with his song, 10 Years. I mean, the guy's a genius. The song is great. Every person I show this song to is loving it. He has just the quirkiest dance moves. Everyone's gonna love that on stage as well. So number five is Ukraine with Goe and the song Shum. It was like Chemical Brothers meets Chernobyl rave. I absolutely love this song. I've been listening to this non-stop. I love the traditional elements of this song, the flute. It's just magical and it gives me shudders everywhere every time I listen to the song. We all know Goe is gonna give us a show. Number four, and I'm actually shocked about this one because I thought this was gonna be my number one for a very long time and that is Lithuania with The Root. I listen to this song every day almost. It's so good. But I do think because they released it so early, some people may have been like, oh yeah, I've heard it a million times now. I still think this is going to do absolutely amazing on the night because there's going to be some people that have never seen the song before. Ooh, in my third place. Italy with Maniskin. For someone that is just such a big rock fan. I was headbanging all the way. I think I'll be listening to the song for a very, very long time. It hasn't got boring for me. I know that there's other rock songs in this contest, but this is a very different type of rock. Well done, Italy. One of the best entries I have ever seen from you. So in my second place, was anyone expecting this? No. And that is San Marino with Senate song Adrenalina. It's so good. It takes me back to when I was a teenager growing up with Flow Rider because it has Flow Rider in the song, but with like a Middle Eastern twang in it. I just completely fell in love with this song, have been listening to it every day again. No one's going to be switching off. They're going to be switching on. Senate, I just want to congratulate you because you came back with a bang. <laughs> Who's going to be in my first place? I'm going to put my Malta. Number one, this is one of those songs that is going to connect with so many people, especially with all the stuff going on in the UK. I love it so, so much. Electro Swing is one of my favorite genres. This is definitely going to stand out from those 80s sounding songs that we have quite a lot of. It's super catchy. It puts you in such a good mood no matter what. She's already won Junior Eurovision, guys. Remember that. Imagine if Destiny is the first ever person to win both Junior 
Tasmania and the adult Eurovision Song Contest. That would be amazing and therefore I just think she should have that chance. Anyway guys, I just think this deserves to win. That is what I thought. Let me know what your top 39 is down below in the comment section because I would love to know and I'm sure you guys all have a different opinion. And don't worry guys, there will be plenty of content coming your way. Stay tuned to my Instagram as well because I will be asking some questions on future videos. I'm gonna go but I'll see you guys very, very soon.